Trump says gold is better than cold, hard cash. Donald Trump is renting out the 50th floor of 40 Wall Street for 10 years to Apmex, American Precious Metals Exchange, and accepting three 32-ounce gold bars as a security deposit. Well, sadly, we all know what's happening to the dollar. The dollar is going down, and it's not a pretty picture, and it's not being sustained by proper policy and proper thinking. This was an opportunity, and maybe an opportunity to show people what's happening with the dollar so that we can do something about it. My one note that analyzes voice, one note that analyzes text, one note that analyzes video. If they find they provide good services to each other, then they can habitually keep outsourcing work to each other, and that becomes a sort of federation of, of nodes. And that's much like the formation of a cell assembly in the brain, where several neurons will, will, tend, will tend to keep, keep working together with each other. Now, to the user, all these dynamics behind the scenes may not be visible. So if you have a user who needs, say, a document summarized, they pay a certain amount of token to a document summary node or, or using an external payment processor. I mean, they could pay fiat currency or whatever to a document summary node. But then if that document summary node encounters a video embedded, you know, it could outsource summarizing that video to another node. Or if the document summary node doesn't know Russian and, and it sees some Russian text, it can outsource translation of that Russian text to a translator node. And then some of the money it was paid, it will, it will pay to the nodes that are, that are doing subcontracting for it. So a combination of AIs working together via our system of, of APIs can be used to fulfill what appears to be a simple transaction with, with one node to the outside, just as in, in the realm of human business. You can have a subcontractor, sub-subcontractor, sub-subcontractors connect and interoperate with other AIs in, in, in the network. And we, we, we want this to be a decentralized network which is contributed to by by everyone developing AI. I mean, in OpenCog, we have a very flexible knowledge representation. So OpenCog-based AI nodes, using their own hypergraph representation, can represent everything that's happening inside the singularity net. So we'll have nodes that can actually model, model the whole network of nodes as well, which is an interest, interesting recursion. And there's a lot of interesting theory we can get into here, because inside an OpenCog system, we have an artificial economy itself. Like each, each node inside an open cog system that powers a, a, a robot like this has a certain token inside the open cog which regulates how much processor, how much memory it gets. And then the attentional economy inside one AI's mind, of course, interacts by the AGI token with whatever's happening inside another AI mind. So you, you really have a quite interesting bringing together of economics and cognition. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family. It is an imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works, because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned, the game is rigged. Now, guys, of course, I want to thank those who donated to the Cash App, Patreon, also those who purchased the book. Crypto Teacher NWO book. I do have a warning on the NWO book, those who are new to the channel. Once you read that book, you cannot go back to sleep. So just understand that. It's going to bring you into consciousness. Once you read that book, you're going to start to see things that you didn't see before. When you watch movies and things like that, you're going to see things that you never thought you could see. So definitely that's a warning for anybody who purchases that book. Now, guys, of course, we want to get into Bitcoin first. Now, of course, right now, Bitcoin is flat. Why? The stable coins are sitting flat. So don't forget, stable coins let us know where the market is going, same way the stock market. Repos let us know where the market is going. That's why they blocked us from seeing repos now. Repos were an easy way. If we knew that they were going to put $3 trillion into the market, we knew what the market was going to pump. Now we can't even see it. So just like I said, I'm definitely searching for a way to find out exactly what they're doing. But if you're new to this channel, when stable coins go below a dollar, that means we're going to pump. So you see that 99, you know we're going up. But it does have to be like, you know, two, three, four hours before you actually see that reflective in the number. Now, you must, you know, create yourself a chart with all the stable coins. Plus, XRP now has become an indicator. When you see XRP starting to close that gap, you know the market is going to pump. Because why? Because Tether is pumping it. So... 
Uh, we see Tether has widened that gap a little bit, and what happened? The market drops. Also, volume is a key also. Uh, but getting into Bitcoin, the Bitcoin news, Donald Trump, the book that Bolton, ha uh, uh, Bolton has out, stating that Trump advised him to go after the Treasury Secretary Mnuchin and go after Bitcoin guys. We know that's not true. We know Powell has a, has a history in studying blockchain. You have this older man in front of you thinking he doesn't know about crypto. He knows all about it. I did a video on that. You can go to the Federal Reserve and look up the long paper that he wrote about um, the technology, digital ledger technology. So the fact is, is that he already has great, just like I say, we've been studying this for a couple of decades. He said it out of his own mouth. So he knows blockchain and everything else. So the people that's in there that has been hired, all of them are about what? Cryptocurrency. He just hired Brian Brooks. So we know that Brian Books said that, you know, it's about level playing field. That's what cryptocurrency is going to uh, bring. Now, we know that the executive order 13772 that he signed as soon as he got into office. Now, we know he didn't have anything to do with that. We know all presidents are puppets. But the fact is, is that he doesn't say anything about any Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, blockchain. He doesn't say anything about blockchain. Blockchain is... Uh, everybody agrees the blockchain is going to be used, but he doesn't even say anything about that. So, guys, don't forget the world is a stage, and, of course, we are the audience. Now, we have Canada says they're going to be designing their own uh, digital currency. We already know it's already made. They already have these digital currencies in the back, guys. There's this timing. Now, uh, Coinbase is going to be using Rosetta. We know that Coinbase is all about getting our information they always talking about paying your taxes, all this. So we know Coinbase is ran by the government. Now, uh, Bitcoin is being purchased by, of course, the boomers. They want to hedge against, you know, the volatility that is definitely going to be coming up. It's definitely good to invest, especially if you are a boomer, at least uh, 10%. Now, uh, Pi uh, DAO just doing a pool of stable coins, guys. Like I said, everybody's going to have their own little stable coin, and it's probably going to link into that one. I did a video on that also, link into that one sta stable coin. So, just like the US dollar, and that probably will be ran by uh, China. Now, uh, Pow said that uh, the CBD shouldn't be done by a private company, but we know what. Federal Reserve is a private company. They're not part of the government. So, of course, that makes no sense. Thailand is going to be bringing uh, bonds onto blockchain. Just like I said, blockchain is going to be huge. We already know this. India Crypto Exchange launches blockchain education on blockchain. Uh, so, guys, the fact is, is that they're, everything is moving fast. But what do they have to do? They have to distract the masses have to distract the masses that's the reason why you have the protests uh you know the fake killings and all this good stuff because the fact is, is that they have to distract everybody the c word nothing but a distraction they had to get the repo market under control what was the best way of doing it you know doing the actual c word this is all playing guys you have fauci saying as soon as Trump gets to the office, we're going to have a pandemic. Bill Gates, we're going to have a pandemic. So, guys, we know all this is uh, planned. Now, we have uh, J.P. Morgan warning, you know, about the economy. Uh, we see the Fed is now moving away from ETFs to purchase uh, bonds so they can give money to these individual corporations, their buddies. Uh, but guys, we also see pensions are bankrupt. All pensions are bankrupt. Uh, basically, what they want to do, of course, is bring America to its knees. And it's like I said, China rises. Now, uh, basically, we had uh, the CIA cyber weapons stolen. So, guys, we know, as like I say, I say this over and over and over again, we're going to be going to World War III. It's going to be more cyber than physical. So we also see where Trump uh, did an executive order as far as with uh, the grids. Now, uh, New York loses 40% of its taxes. Uh, we know because these economies have shut down, 
we know these states are going to be bankrupt. So at the time when everything goes down and everybody's out of money, all this free money is gone, what are they going to do? They're going to beg the government for a solution. And what is the government going to do? Airdrop them digital currencies. You're right. Now, uh, the fact is that we have China collecting DNA from millions of men and boys. And guys, we know what that is about. So the fact is, is that basically what all this technology, AI, uh, automation, guys, we're going to see uh, humanity change. And that's what they want to do. And basically, I've done several videos on Ray Curzio, uh, Ben Gerso. They want to change humanity. Now, we have Susie Orman uh, basically saying stay away from 401ks. Guys, we know uh, the fact is, is that basically the Fed is buying uh, stocks. So the fact is when they stop buying, that's going to be your 401ks and pensions going to be down the drain. And all this is, like I said, is actually planned. Now, we have Niccolo saying this, uh, Wall Street is a buy. They haven't made a truck yet. But guys, we know the stock market is being pumped by the Fed and they decide what stocks they want to pump. So guys, don't forget that basically when it comes to these stocks, all these stocks are connected. So the fact is, is that basically as long as you can piece the puzzle together, you'll know what stocks to invest in. Now guys, that's all I have for you. Uh, basically, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher NWO book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, uh, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Don't forget about the stocks, your chip stocks. Everything's going to have a chip in it. Gaming, we know gaming is going to be big. Banks, never bet against the banks. Cobalt, they need that for the electric batteries. Biotech stocks, we know the C word. Everybody's sitting at home. Don't forget about those stocks. And of course, because everybody's getting free check, sitting at home, doing nothing. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks. And y'all have a wonderful day.